Okay, question three. The volume v cubic meters of water in a reservoir it's exciting, is given by that formula where h is the depth of water. Water is flowing into it at a constant rate of 150 cubic meters per hour. Find the rate at which the depth is increasing at the instant when the depth is 1.4 meters. So there's loads to go on with this. Um, well, actually, what, let's, let's write down to start with what we've just been told. Here we've got the water is flowing in at a constant rate of 150 cubic meters. So that's volume per hour, isn't it, that we've got there. That is dv by dt is 150. That, that's what we've just been given. What's the question looking for? Find the rate at which the depth is increasing. So we want dh by dt when h is 1.4. This is, this is what we're after in this question. Okay, and we're given this formula. We're given that v is 3 times 2 plus root h to the 6 minus 192. So it's pretty obvious that it's a differentiation question. And we expect, before we do anything else, we're going to need to differentiate that. Now v is written in terms of h. So we're finding dv by dh, even though it's dh by dt that we eventually want. This is what we're going to work at here. Um, this is a, a chain rule, isn't it? It's a bit of a little bit. It's uh, something to the 6. If you differentiate something to the 6, you get 6 times the something to the 5. We've also got a 3 that we're multiplying by. So this is 6 times 3, which would be 18, times 2 plus root h. To the 5, but then of course we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside bit, and the inside bit is 2 plus h to the half. If we differentiate h to the half, we get a half h to the minus a half. And we're going to differentiate minus 1, then 2, but that goes to 0, so we don't need to write anything with that. So there's our expression, a pretty complicated expression for, for differentiating that. If we simplify what we've got here, I think. Let's write it as being 9 times 2 plus root h to the 5 over root h. Is that all right to think of it like that? Um, or you could leave it. You know, root root right, so where are we going with this now? We're supposed to be finding, we've got to be by the h. We're supposed to be finding the h by the t. This is a, clearly we've got a chain rule thing going on here as well. Um, the way I like to think about these is we've got V appearing on the top twice, we've got T on the bottom twice, we've got H on the top and the bottom. So V was on the top twice, so we'll start with dV. T was on the bottom twice, so that's dV by dH times dH by dT. That's our expression that we've got. So let's uh, try and fill in some of the gaps, some of the things that we know in that equation dv by dt is 150, dv by dh is 9 times 2 plus root h to the 5 over root h times dh by dt. So if we try and rearrange this, we want to find dh by dt. dh by dt is 150 divided by this expression. I know it would have been a little bit neater to have turned upside down and written the root h at the top. But that's what we want to get to. Uh, the question wasn't asking for, I am actually going to write that now. It's that, isn't it? I could cancel down the, uh, the 9 and the 150 as well, but I won't. The question wants us to get what this is when h is 1.4. So the final thing to do is if h equals 1.4 and then sub that in, dh by dt is 150 root 1.4 over 9 times 2 plus root 1.4 to 5. And we put all of that lovely lot into our calculator and nobody's got a calculator, so it's going to all come in by the Um, and we get our answer, here we go, 150 times root 1.4 over 9 brackets, 2 plus root 1.4, oh, 1 close the bracket, put it to a 
power of 5 and oh, it's there, 0 0.0603 3 is that our answer, although they were accepting it um, if you just put 0 0.06 there you go, no, no greater accuracy than that but there we go um, there, it, it wasn't it's not a nice one to mark this is it so the way the marks were given is for getting your differentiation to start with you're going to get two marks for getting to this point although you get the marks here you get the mark for the unsimplified version of it so that's two marks given in that statement correct um, the remaining three marks well in either order you have to substitute in 1.4 and you have to divide 150 by your derivative and they're both method marks, and then one final accuracy mark at the answer. And they tended to give the, the method mark for subbing in 1.4 at any point. Um, so you can watch out for that in there as well. There we go, that's it, and that's maths.